What's up everybody? Welcome to another abandoned video. Today we're in a pretty unique place. This building we're in today had many different stages of the purpose of why it was open. At first it opened up in 1930 as a theater. It was a movie theater um, and occasionally did plays and from there that lasted up until the 60s when it was a mix between courthouse at different times. It was also a club, I believe, at some point, and the last thing it was in its life cycle was a bowling alley. So we have a little bit of everything. We're going to be exploring the entire building. There is a decent amount of things left behind, as well as vintage stuff. So that's stuff we always love on this channel. So if you guys do enjoy, leave a thumbs up. Let's go explore. So this room definitely gives off courthouse vibes. Giant ceilings, you got the columns, you got the stairs on both sides. So that's really cool. We're gonna check out the bowling alley now. So let's go check out the front desk. Still have all the shoes left behind. So before this was a bowling alley, this was the lower level of the theater. We'd have some seats here. Got some major warping happening in the floors. And above us, Right where this drop ceiling was placed, that was the actual theater. That actually still is the theater here. You could see a little bit of the detail on the ceiling. Still there. So for about 30 years, they just covered up that beautiful ceiling. With this drop ceiling. Something that doesn't really fit in my opinion. I don't, really don't know why it's here, but they have murals of just sea life around the place. We have this wall covered. Let's walk over to the other one. As we go over these lanes that are decaying quite quickly. I don't think I mentioned when this place closed. It closed around 2010, so got 10 years of decay inside this place. Good old sea turtle. So this is a pretty old ball return, but one thing I notice is the size of the bowling balls. Why are they so small? Look, they wouldn't really get much bigger than this. At least I don't think. You wanna know why they're so small? Why are they so small, Chris? Inform everybody. Candlestick pins they would use? Very long, skinny, weird pens. Oh, they I have, see them. They have small balls. So you wouldn't use a regular size, you would use a smaller one. I yeah, see them. Let's. There's a different kind of bowling. Different type of bowling. I see these pins over here. Candlestick pins. You could see them right over there. They look like canteens, or I guess candlesticks. That's why they're named that. Very odd. I feel like it would make bowling a lot harder. I just realized inside the mural there are candlestick pins. So weird. So weird. You got a manta ray. You have a shipwreck here too. 
abandoned shipwreck with the lights on underwater somehow. Okay, so in 2010-11, these are the fresh bowling shoes that'll get you all the women here at the local bowling alley. I love how some of them are just like, they made the youth athletic ones like just kinda edgy with the skull and crossbones. All I'm gonna say is no wonder this place went out of business. I love these vintage desks here. Really old stuff. Look at the light switch. Oh wow, it's actually Brunswick brand. That's pretty cool. I know that's like a bowling alley exclusive brand. At least I think so. I bet these probably go for a lot of money. These do look vintage, as does everything else here. Still got some scores left behind. Just the sheets though. Got a little pencil, a little Halloween pencil. Pretty cool stuff. See what's through this door. Ooh, okay. This is really nice. So obviously this is a bar. Really beautiful architecture. I love, I love this. The pillars. You still have some drinks left behind too. Oh, you have a whole jar of olives in here. Oh my God. Oh, that looks disgusting. That looks absolutely disgusting. Okay, it's enough looking at that. I can't really stomach that right now. Really cool bar though. I guarantee this was like the entrance to the theater, like the original entrance right through here. You'd get your tickets. But it looks like they converted it into a, a restaurant, I would assume. All the booths are gone now. Oh, uh, where's the DJ table up here? Yeah. There's audio and stuff. So it's like the DJ booth. Could see everything. One thing that is kind of visually unappealing about this place is the amount of times it's been transverted into like different things. So like the bar isn't like even with the round ceiling. That's something that kind of ticks me off, but it's still really cool to see a building this old get refurbished a ton of times. 
you know, in hopes of saving it for good. But yet, it just goes abandoned and abandoned. Hopefully someone one day could fix this one up, but it's not looking great. A lot of decay here. Just want to peek in this room here. Wow, a lot of natural decay. This must have been like just the main office here. You can see all the water coming in here making this just completely decayed and mossy. I've got a safe in this room. Oh, look at that. All the drinks just still sitting on that little platform. Cool little light fixture up there. That's probably vintage to when the theater opened, I would assume. Looks like it's probably brass. Here's one of the entrances to the theater. You could see, for a long time, this was just locked up until this whole place went abandoned and I guess someone broke in. I'll take out my good flashlight in a second, but what you're looking at now is where the stage would be. And over here we have all the seats, including the grand carpet here. The stage was removed, but that's where it was along that brick wall. You can still see all the detail put into the ceiling here. Really beautiful stuff. We even have some bowling seats up here, just chilling in the theater section. So I guess the bowling alley did use this area for storage at one point. Also have floppy disks on the ground. Oh, this is the projector room. Still got some left behind also. I love seeing old projection equipment. This definitely seems really old just by looking at it. Can't even close it, it's rusted shut. I wanted to see like a wanted to see like a brand name. Here we go, peerless, high intensity lamp. Also looks like we have the remains of another one, but um, it either fell off naturally, either fell off or somebody kicked it off or something. That's a shame though. Just realized we got some films right beneath my feet. Some reels. Oh, still something on there. 
little bit. Can't really make it out. So much dust in here. You can't really see it. Oh, we got another projector here on the ground. And this, I guess, is where storage would be. We got this whole wall leaning over, so not really gonna step inside that room unless I'm asking for death. But that's pretty cool. I wonder if there's any films underneath all that stuff. Wouldn't doubt there wouldn't be. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's exploration. This place was pretty cool. It's cool to see the different sides of this place. I mean, obviously you could tell this was a courthouse. Obviously we saw the theater. You could tell it was a theater. And the bowling alley was cool too, especially with the unique pins. That's something I've never seen before. I don't know if you guys have seen that before. Hopefully I taught some people some new things today. Anyway, gonna be all for this place. Really cool, historic, old theater. Hopefully it does get redone, refurbished, and used again, although we do have a lot of decay occurring here because of water. So anyway, if you guys did enjoy, leave a thumbs up, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.